Just a few weeks ago, during the 2024 presidential election debate, former President Donald Trump perpetuated violent and false claims against Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, causing an uproar of discrimination against Haitians all across the nation. On Tuesday, the Haitian community and their allies stood in solidarity and let their voices be heard during the Stop Discrimination rally at the Embrace statue in Boston Common. In this moment, we've all have come together to stand up as Americans and say enough is enough. And to stand up with the people of Ohio who are suffering right now. Sadly, today, the same forces that once sought to keep Haiti enslaved are now using the tool of othering, painting Haitians, black people, immigrants as somehow less, as if we are not worthy of respect or deserving of humanity. And we know that's a lie. Yeah. Race was a construct that was created, my friends, and it was created to divide us. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is all of our hearts beat, all of our blood bleeds red, we all breathe in oxygen and we exhale it. These are yep. nothing but lies from the enemy to try to keep us apart and to keep us not focused on the goal that is ahead of us. Mm -hmm. The location was a perfect setting for the message they were proclaiming. Stop the lies, stop the hate, and treat our immigrants with respect. After all, their contributions to this nation are innumerable. And I'm not just here to support the Haitian community. I'm here for all of us. Yeah. When you attack someone in Springfield, we yeah. feel it in Boston. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you injure our Haitian neighbors, the whole country bleeds. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, we all have inherent dignity. And nobody can take that away unless we relinquish it. And we are standing here to say, that Haitians deserve respect yeah. and will not give up their dignity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mira Coalition stands firmly against any attacks on our immigrant communities here in Massachusetts. Yeah. Racist, xenophobic language and baseless smears have no place in our multicultural, yeah. yeah. multiracial society. Yeah. Rather, I want to stand with you all today and I want to celebrate the amazing contributions of Haitian Americans and Haitian immigrants to the United States and to Massachusetts. The impact of spreading these hateful words and false narratives about Haitian immigrants doesn't just affect that community. It ripples throughout the country and causes more hateful rhetoric towards all of our immigrants. Whenever you attack one group of people, one group of immigrants, you are attacking all immigrants. And we know words matter and we know the consequences of words against immigrants can have devastating impact. So that's the reason why we are fighting. We don't want to hear those things. There must be a stop. When you don't understand the culture, um, anything that makes you feel that it's a way for you to elevate yourself, you will use it. Um, besides any political affiliation that you might have, at the end of the day, you need to be human. And you need to understand that any statements that you made that affects people's culture in an everyday life is something that has an negative impact. It's completely wrong to use Haitian people as a political chip in a game that we hope uh, he is going to lose, that they are going to lose. We've seen it time and time again. We punch down on immigrants because they oftentimes don't speak the language or we feel like they aren't organized. But I, I think you heard, we heard it all today that our immigrant communities are organized and we stand together in unison. Gathering at the Embrace statue and standing in unity sent a powerful message. Hate and discrimination have no place in this country. 